There is, for example, the town of El Cocuy, nearly two miles high in the Andes, where the greater part of the congregation is scattered through the surrounding mountains, accessible only by Cocuy's favorite means of travel, the horse or mule. Here, Pastor Oliverio Mora is packing for a long trip into the high country to the north and east. And now he's on his way, carrying the word into the highlands, riding as far as the trail allows, then dismounting to walk. On the rooftop of the Andes, there are little isolated farms and people who may not see a stranger for months. But Pastor Mora is not a stranger here. His frequent calls have made him a welcome friend. It is through such evangelists as Oliverio Mora that these people learn that ours is not a faith that exists only behind the cold facade of a cathedral, but a living, working religion that reaches out to all the world in the way Jesus went out to the people in the fields and hills around the Sea of Galilee. Sometimes he is invited to share a meal at a farmer's home and to lead in a prayer of thanksgiving for food and the blessing of Christian fellowship. Later he may leave his mount again and go on foot with a fellow Christian to carry the message of Christ's redemption to a still more isolated farm, a little cluster of thatched roof houses in a high mountain valley. Pastor Mora receives a warm greeting a welcome that becomes all the heartier when he tells of his mission and his work of spreading the good news of a God of love, not fear. Back home in El Kukui, he finds time for a meeting with the board of deacons of his local church to discuss plans for a program of evangelism that will reach even more people of these mountains. Later, he goes to the Lutheran cemetery with his brother, to put flowers on the grave of another brother, a Christian martyr who was killed in the wave of Protestant persecution. Although the persecutions and murders have subsided, oppression continues. Cemeteries are provided by the municipality, but are generally administered by the Roman Catholic Church. Access to them involves red tape and often denial of use. 